What a dynamic young man. Let's hear it again for Joe. You know, after the last election, my wife said to me, the PPM ran nine candidates, but got ten. And I have now a distinct pleasure to introduce my schoolmate, former colleague in school, Miss Lucille Seymour, to introduce from the BRAC, Mr. Moses Kakarnal. Miss Lucille. Thank you very much, um, Chair Mr. Chairman. I'm not going to be like Osborne tonight and be so bombastic. <laughs> I'm just going to give you my pretty face, my beautiful looks. All, all that cachet and panache that you like. But I'm about to introduce a beautiful man that I love dearly and the PPM is very grateful to have him. Success, and, and they said to me that I have to read tonight because they don't trust me. Not that I'm not good. They just don't trust me to say everything from my head. So. They, 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 might, they think that I might call his hair black instead of blonde, so I have to, <laughs> you know, I have to, re I have to read it for you. Success is generally accepted since of the term, since the term means the opportunity to experience and to realize the maximum that forces that are within us. Our next speaker has only served four years in the Legislative Assembly, but has dedicated his entire life to serving the people of Cayman Brack and the Little Cayman. Everyone knows that he's passionate about the young people of our sister islands and does all in his power to create educational and job opportunities for them. You may know, not, you may know this, but Moses played a key role in getting the financial center and the government as well to move more of their offices to his district. While the world's economy continues in a downward spiral, our sister island's candidate continue to use his business press and his years of, pri of private sector experience to improve the economic stature of the less than 2,000 people he serves. It is no wonder that a few years ago he was presented the Quincentennial Award for Ambassador of Economic Development of the Sister Islands. Under his, <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Under his watchful eye, a surplus was created last year and the Sister Islands are not a burden to the mainland. Moses Kakarnal's single most important vision is for the life of the people of Cayman Brack and Little Cayman to return to normalcy for every single home in his district to be repaired in the aftermath of Hurricane Paloma. He's laying the foundation for the achievement of that vision as he is a part of the PPM administration that started the Paloma Committee, which gave work to private contractors under Brack to assist in rebuilding efforts and fundraising. Looking ahead, Moses sees opportunities on the horizon for all, an improved tourism product, and a better prepared country to deal with Mother Nature. His ultimate goal for the next four years, making Cayman Brack and Little Cayman a better place to live, where the unity and the resilience of the people can be clearly seen in the place he calls home. Colleagues, members of our party, supporters, ladies and gentlemen, the next voice you will hear will be the blue-eyed, blonde hair, <laughs> white man, Cayman Braca, candidate of Little Cayman and Cayman Brack, Moses Kukarnel. <laughs> 